Excuse me. Oh, are you okay? I can't breathe. Oh, um, right. Um, she was more terrified than he was. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We thought you were ever. Just get out. I'll go when you tell me why you're so angry. It's just like the cardiac patient today. The reminders of what really scares you, that you could die at any time. OK, Gabrielle? You know, it hardened on my skin. It does do that. It was very uncomfortable. OK, you can't avoid it anymore. Okay, girls. Favorite lippy shade? I'm not about shade, but I'm a glitter freak. Sounds like a band name, the Glitter Freaks. Bags lead singer. I would be the drummer. I'll be on Glockenspiel. <laughs> when cosmetics are tested on animals, it's applied to their mucous membranes, including their eyes, mouth, nose, and anus, to ascertain the irritation level, if any. Thanks for that. So, you do much of this sort of thing back in Romania? Uh, um, there are many spas on the Black Sea coast that my friends have been to, but it is not something I have done. How did your family fare under the communist dictatorship of Nicolae Ceausescu? Oh, for pity's sake, Gabrielle. I'm just asking. It was a very difficult time. Two of my uncles were killed in demonstrations. My uh, grandparents presented a petition against food shortages, and when they presented it to the security, they went missing. So, back to the glitter freaks. I can't do this. I'm going home. No, it's okay. You have not offended me. This is meant to be relaxing, guys. We're meant to be chilling. I don't know how to do chilling. I'd really rather go home and Jonathan arrives home tomorrow. So why the frown? I don't know. Because tonight is so not your thing. You're allowed to go. I'll call you tomorrow. Well, that went well. Don't feel bad. You tried. Vasa, the junior nurse, the one with the very short hair. Ellie. Turns out she can't put an IV line in to save herself. Could you go in and see Mrs Adams and sort that out for me? Uh, why can't you just do it yourself? Because I'm very busy. <laughs> Aren't we all? I've got a GIK infusion to Are set up. Are you going to get this taken care of or not? Not. As you well know, it's a doctor's responsibility. So you're happy to keep others waiting, are you? I'll just apologise to the patients who've been sitting there for six hours already. Sorry, the nurses are being obstructive. What can I do? Obstructive? Just get the IV line done, please. Hiya! Oh, hope I haven't missed anything. What's happened? Oh, it's not really her thing. Gosh, I'm feeling overdressed. Does anyone want a drink? Um, we're OK, thanks. Oh, OK, well, I might need a drink. Do you have to give us a running commentary? Pardon? Oh, look. It's okay as you were. Why don't you just sit down, relax? Quietly. Okay, sorry. Sorry. It's at least all like, yeah, yeah, I get a cuddle. <laughs> no, Vasa, you have a good one. I like that's going to happen as if I don't have enough to do. Sorry? Running around after damn doctors. Brooke just had me insert an IV line. She just told me to do it. Never mind. What? <laughs> well, that's Brooke for you. Yeah, always taking advantage of nurses. A five-year-old could insert an IV line better than Brooke Freeman. She will find any excuse not to do it. Well, that is appalling. You're surprised. A lot of the doctors are rusty. It's just easier to get one of us to do it. Yeah, better for the patients too. Do it once, do it right. Brooke had an old man looking like a pincushion. <laughs> well, then she needs to take a refresher course. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Good luck getting her to do that. You know, doctors all over the place are leaving jobs for nurses to do. Uh, hello, status quo. Well, so what are we going to do about it? Uh, having a good old goss behind their backs usually helps. Making up immature names mm. for them. Yeah, or that's... we could talk to the powers that be, get Callum to give the doctors a rack up. No, I think the name calling's more fun. Winston, are you having trouble with doctors dumping menial tasks on you? No. Well, apparently there's one doctor in particular who hasn't inserted an IV line in months. That's terrible. It is. And I don't think that she should be allowed to get away with it. Do you? Absolutely not. I'll get it. Before you say anything, uh, I'm very sorry for interrupting. I said to my fiancé, I told you, no men, woman only. I know, and I'm sorry, but I have to speak to Bella. What? Why? 
I don't want to speak to you. You have to go. Well, what's going on? Bella, enough is enough. You have to face the fact that you have an illness. The universe does not want us to relax. If you don't leave right now, then I will. Oh, you can't tell my fiancé to leave. That is my job. But don't upset her. She has a condition. She's not upsetting me. You are. And if you were so worried about my condition, then why the hell did you scare me with that stupid mask? What mask? Oh, one of his voodoo masks. I thought you got rid of them. But Bella retrieved them from me. What did you do that for? It doesn't matter. You've been living in denial long enough. If you do not start taking your medication, if you do not cease to actively avoid the truth, then you will die. Damn. She has been on edge ever since she got here. Completely wound up. Not relaxed at all. I've been speaking to other nurses about the problem you're having. Mm. With Brooke. Uh, Brooke? In the IV lines. I didn't realize it was a Brooke you were talking about. Well, apparently, she's notorious. According to other nurses, it is something a lot of doctors do. Perhaps, but I've never been spoken to by another doctor the way that Brooke spoke to me tonight. You know, barking at me like I'm only here to wait on her hand and foot. Perhaps she was having a bad day. Oh, you've got that weird thing for her, so you're willing to turn a blind eye? No. Well, if you do, she'll have you running around after her. She'll take advantage. I am professional. I wouldn't let any formal working relationship with a Brooke affect my work. Is that so? Yes. OK, then. Prove it. Prove it. Hmm. I'd like you to speak to Callum on behalf of all the nurses. Ah, the traveler returns. Bonjour. Bonjour. How was it? Relaxing. Good weather? Half the time, other half it was rainy and windy. Oh, sweet. No, no, it was cool. I got to check out the city. <laughs> One night I found this hall where they were doing bingo. Thought it'd be fun to play and get amongst the locals. It wasn't? <laughs> yeah. We were all speaking French. De set, de oui. You would have loved it. Oh. Then I got rolling drunk with these two old couples, laughing and singing. I mean, I couldn't understand half of what they were saying, but it was fun. I should go. Thanks for picking me up from the airport. No, you didn't have to. I know. I wasn't obliged to at all. You here for lunch later? Yeah. Well, I'll text you. What am I doing? The whole time I was away, I was trying to convince myself that it'd be okay. The moment I saw her, all my doubts would disappear and I'd be madly What did you do? Hey? Or should I say, who did you do? Well, that's nice. I'm trying to have a serious conversation and your mind goes straight to nasty. I know you. Well, then you know I'm always in it for the fun. The problem is with Gabrielle, there isn't any. Unlike the French-speaking, bingo-playing senior citizens. Massive age difference, and I still had a better time. 